Hi everyone, my name is Laura from Helix Power. Um, I'd like to let you know that we have, we're introducing an extreme energy storage um, device capable of charging and discharging one megawatts in 90 seconds. Our target audience right now is working with the MBTA and the flywheels and um, our extreme energy management system has the ability to, um, it's very compact. We can fit seven feet tall, three feet wide. And when you look at our footprint compared to battery technology, we are just a small footprint, but we have something that batteries can't do. We can, we can do full depth of discharge in 90 seconds. Charge up, charge down, that's something our competition cannot do. Um, we can be positioned trackside. We can also be positioned to manage the load for a substation. And when we do that, you look at the substation, the energy rates are based on those peak demands for a substation. If you can manage that load, look what happens. We free up a tremendous amount of capacity and we have an immediate savings. So we have done a study. We were working with data with the MBTA and here's a comparison. Here's when you look at the present profile of that, of that um, um, substation demand and then you look at managing that load. The MBTA is the largest energy user in the state of Massachusetts. Imagine if we could cut that energy in half before we create more uh, carbon tax or bureaucracy or anything else. Let's manage the energy that we already have uh, for the largest energy user. In addition, the MBTA is under mandates for uh, clean energy, for, for admissions. They have to reduce 5,000 metric tons of greenhouse gases annually. What tool are they going to use to do that? Um, so we have a couple of studies that are available for you to look at. We have our greenhouse gas study. We have our blue line study that is available for you to look at for more information. I, 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 everybody told me I was going to go too long with this presentation. <laughs> I'm flying through it here. I, I, I want to. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, so we've been working on this now for a little bit. And so it's regenerative breaks, the, ga the energy that would have been wasted, burnt off as heat. We're capturing that energy, putting it back to the third rail, and we're stabilizing that energy if we're being used trackside. If we're going to be paired with a substation, we can help the efficiency of that substation and, and grow the ability of that substation, which is at a far less cost than upgrading a substation. So our partners, we have been working with NYSERDA. We are big partners with the Department of Energy. I must tell you that they have been, uh, Sandia National Labs has been a phenomenal supporter of us. And so much so that the US Department of Transportation heard about Helix. We were invited out there to meet with them because the problems that we have with the T with energy management is happening all over the country. So they are following us, I want you to know that. Uh, because solving this problem with our own metro systems is something that can be uh, addressed in a much larger scale. So I would like to thank our hosts and our organizers for this event. Um, we're members of Greentown Labs in Somerville. It's been a fabulous incubator site for us to work with. We have some great strategic partners that are working with us that I can't tell you about because that's proprietary. But anyways, <laughs> I'd like to, like to tease you on that. And, um, and do I have any questions? Because I, I'm seeing heads nodding out there. Yes. <laughs> hey, help me help me get the governor's attention to let them know, hey, before you do any kind of carbon tax, you do any other stuff, let's manage the largest energy user in the Commonwealth. Help them get those costs down by stabilizing the energy. Get more cars on the, on the line because that power is more consistent on that third rail. So um, we are a very powerful tool. Another question? So the, train, the trains take a tremendous amount of energy. We got this information from the T that they are the largest energy user in the Commonwealth. In the background, we have our founder, Matt Lazarevich, who's... Matt, can you come up? So we come up, Matt, come up here. Experience? Quick, go walk fast, Matt, because I'm on the clock. Come on, Matt, hustle it along. So go ahead, speak. 
the T the largest energy user? Yeah. By just managing the energy we already paid for, let's stabilize that power on the third rail, return it, it back. You, it, it gives you a feeling every stop, every stop that it does as a train makes is enough to run a house full of water. Mm -hmm. Is enough to what? Say that again. Can you every that? train stop is enough. The energy that's being wasted is enough to run the energy for your home for that day. Wow. Each stop. A each stop. Can you give us a So all of the trains are equipped with regenerative brakes. Regenerative brakes basically uh, burn off the wasted energy. It's kinetic motion. And instead of wasting that energy, we're capturing that energy. All we're doing is stabilizing the energy. We're making them put the energy on the third rail. We're capturing that energy in our flywheel, which can charge and discharge one megawatts in 90 seconds. A battery can't do that. You can't put that load on a battery. Or, to, or pull off a battery. We can also be paired with batteries to make a battery more efficient, to make a battery last longer. Um, so it's, it's a great tool. Our first application, we're looking at metro systems, but we have many applications. We have opportunities to work in mining. We have opportunities to work in uh, data centers managing the power with battery backup and with other um, uh, hybridizing other technologies. Wind turbines. Wind turbines are only as good as the generators that tie in with the turbine. We can help make it more efficient. So thank you so much. I need your tweets. I need your attention. Go to it. <laughs>